Hello everyone and welcome. Um, in this tutorial we're going to basically be taking this tree here and we're going to be kind of bringing it up to life and making it um, you know, very dynamic and kind of have like swaying in the breeze and um, this is something you can do to any kind of vegetation that you would like to do. This is really specifically about like kind of larger trees where you're going to have like bending and swaying of the limbs but you'll also be able to apply everything that you're learning about the vegetation shader to anything like grass or any other type of thing okay so um so that's what we're going to be doing and you know the end result will be in stingray and we'll be uh playing all this stuff back and i'm going to show you some flow and uh get you started making your your scenes kind of feel a little more dynamic and alive uh, especially if you have outdoor scenes all right so let's get started and let's take a look at what we're dealing with okay so the first thing i want you to see is um this here okay now what this is is the vegetation shaders vertex colors okay how this basically works is we're going to set a vertex color um, for each of these uh, for each leaf okay and most of them are going to have pretty much identical layout okay they're going to have this red um, which is going to go from the outsides to the insides and actually what we're going to want to do is make this black right here um, and this is going to be your kind of um, your, your wiggle of the leaves right like the, the each individual leaf is going to kind of wiggle with this okay so it's very high frequency and it's kind of like a wiggle kind of look okay so that's what the red is going to control it's going to be your very high frequency um, vibrations that the leaves are going to make okay um, the blue is going to be more like a long swaying kind of motion okay and that is going to be controlled by the blue channel okay so if you think about it, you can kind of imagine like all the little leaves on the tree, right? We're gonna have these little leaves and we want them to kind of wiggle in the breeze, right? But we want the overall branch, right? The overall thing to kind of have this more swaying kind of motion. And that's gonna be controlled by blue. Now, green is gonna be controlling um, kind of like a random seed. Actually, it's exactly what it is. It's a random seed. So that if we have multiple leaves next to each other, they're not gonna move exactly the same way, hence feeling very repeated, okay? So um, so that's what green channel does. And then this is what they're all gonna, like if you have them all combined, this is basically what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have the red channel, the blue channel, and the green channel um, all kind of combining like this. And again, this is using vertex colors. Now, um, if you're new to uh, this kind of thing, you probably don't know exactly what a vertex color is, so let me explain that really quick. Okay, so each vertex has the ability to control uh, its color. So every point so every point on your mesh is gonna have a vertex color. And generally speaking, we don't apply those colors. But in a case like this, we wanna be able to transfer information to the game engine or Stingray um, via these vertex colors. And to do that, all we have to do is just go uh, into uh, mesh display and we're gonna go apply color, okay? And now with the apply color, we can go ahead and apply these colors and we can do it on an individual channel level. So that's the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is you're doing this individually. Because if you try to do this all at once, you're not gonna be successful. You're gonna have a really hard time with it. Um, so instead what you wanna do is you wanna use individual channels, okay? And then how I would recommend it is, you know, kind of start with your red channel. And like in this case, I want that to be uh, zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and set red and I'm going to set this down to zero and I'm going to hit apply because we don't really want where this branch meets the tree. We don't really want it to uh, wiggle, right? Like that's not going to wiggle. So um, and the same is true with the branch, right? Like we don't want the blue. We want it to sway most up at the top and sway least at the bottom so that this is not disconnecting from the tree when it's moving. OK, so that's the kind of concept there. But um, but yeah, what I would do is I would start procedurally. I would start with my red channel and then I would move to my blue channel, right? So like, let's say I'm just gonna take this one up and get it where we want it to go, right? So then what I would do is I would go vertex and select these guys, right? And set this to the blue channel and set this to zero and hit apply. And then we're gonna grab these guys right here and we're gonna shift this up a little bit and hit apply. And then, you know, just keep this going and Apply, and you'll see that we're going to start to get that blue color kind of fading in there, right? So apply. 
and apply. And you're just going to keep doing this um, as you go, right? So we're just going to keep increasing this quantity and keep increasing it. So we're getting that gradient from zero blue to most blue, right? So that's the idea we want to get to. So let's keep adding our blue. And a little more blue. And it's going to be a missed a line. So let's just make that the same blue. And then a little more blue. And finally, we're just going to make these top ones fully blue. Okay, so now uh, what this is basically saying is the edges of the leaves, which are red, are going to be um, wiggling, right? But the overall of the blue that we're adding is now going to make it wave, okay? So that's kind of the idea there. And then the last thing we would need to do is just give it our, um, our random seeds. So for that, it's really easy. We're just going to kind of set a green channel and hit apply. And as you can see, we ended up with basically the same thing as we have over here. The reason it looks a little different is because on this one, um, the green is a different random seed, okay? So now, if we were to go ahead and look at our tree, right? So what I did was I basically made a couple of cards. I made four cards, um, total of four cards in here, and I re replicated them all over the tree. But I did do this first because I don't want to have to do this afterwards. To try to go in here and do it to every leaf would be insane. So we don't want to do that. Instead, we want to basically set it up first and then replicate the, the leaves over the tree. So that all we have to do now is go in and set the green, right? So the green channel is just the only thing that we're gonna be kind of randomizing a little bit, okay? So um, one thing is if you're using an RMA shader like I am right here, you'll notice that you don't see the colors that are applied to it, okay? So here's where once I've applied the shader to it, it no longer shows. So what I do is I set up two, um, I set up two materials, okay? So I'm gonna go into my hypershade panel and inside my hypershade panel, if we were to look, we have this leaf to one material, right, which is what we're having there. So I'm just going to go right click and I'm going to go select. And then I can go into my leaf one temp, which is just a fong material, and I'm going to go assign. Okay. And now you can see that I've got my leaves all colored in there, right? And the same thing is true with leaf two material. I'm going to go select, uh, select the objects that have it. And then I'm going to go right click and I'm going to say assign leaf to temp. Okay. And now I've got all my materials and we can see that I've got pretty good variation there. Um, and all of them are kind of following that same methodology, right? So that's what you want um, from your leaves on your tree. Okay. So that's what you need to have to get the vegetation shader to, to start working properly. Okay. Um, and once you have that done, um, you're pretty much set. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually use a blend shape to kind of control the overall swaying of the tree. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in part two. Uh, but for part one, that's basically all we needed to do was get our leaves to have this kind of um, modeling. And again, like basically here, uh, let's say I wanted to add more variation. Um, I can just come in here, select up a bunch of leaves and, you know, change my green value, hit apply and uh, move on, right? And you just wanna kinda do this throughout your leaves um, and just keep working up your leaves so that you have a nice bit of variation in them, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be too crazy because it's really hard to even see that you're gonna have this uh, overlapping problem um, unless you only have like a handful of leaves. Uh, but generally, this is the idea you wanna go with. Um, you just wanna kinda grab a bunch of them and then you're just setting the green channel to uh, you know some sort of a random amount so that you have nice variation throughout your leaves when you go into stingray. Okay, so um, that's basically it. And then once you are done with that, you're just gonna go back to your hyper shader and you're gonna go, you know, right click on your leaf one temp, select objects, and then put back your, your RMA material or your, your um, stingray material. Okay, so I'm gonna do select objects and assign. And there we go. Now I'm back to where my tree was, but those vertex colors are still being applied. You just can't see them whenever you're using the uh, the PBS shader first thing. Okay, they don't they don't show. All right. So uh, so that's going to conclude this part of the tutorial, and um, I'll see you in the next part where we're going to go into the blend shapes and setting up the blend shapes for uh, use in this situation.
Okay, so we're going to basically uh, move on and make the whole tree kind of have a gentle sway. So we're getting the branches and not just the leaves. Okay, so I'll see you soon.